Hi, I'm Dr. Will Gibbs, and this is Good Medicine. In this episode, we'll be talking about doctors and their Caribbean patients. I can tell you from first-hand experience, there are certain challenges in treating people from the islands. I spoke to two doctors that mostly serve Caribbean patients, and they talk about the obstacles they face in treating our Caribbean community. There are some differences. The difference comes from our culture in the Caribbean. Uh, we are basically laid back. Uh, we tend to take things with a grain of salt. Uh, we are not in a hurry to go and push and see what's going on. We wait and see. It's good sometimes, but other times can be very bad. And what we have found is that in the Caribbean community, when we discover the cancer, it's already fairly advanced, very late stage three, stage four, where it's very difficult to, to stop the, the, the disease. The, the key is for our population to know that they have to have regular physical examinations. Most, more, most of, of my patients are from the Caribbean descent. They come from all the Caribbean islands, but we have a lot of Haitians as well. In the Caribbean community, there are so many myths associated with healthcare, so we need to break that myth. We need to educate them better and uh, let them know that uh, wellness and health is an absence of disease, of illnesses. You need to go to the doctor to get your preventative medicine, I mean uh, screening, because early detection is paramount in terms of treatment. We need to let them know that they go to the doctor to get the screening test that is very, very, very important. And that's the part that they don't get. Because usually they tell you, but I'm not sick, why do I need to go and have, and have my uh, mammogram done? I don't need to know. But I tell them all the time, yes, you're going to know. You either know now where you can be helped, or you can know later when I say, oh, sorry, it's too late, there's nothing can be done for you. So they need to understand that, that they need to go for the mammogram, the woman, they need to go for the pap smear, and they need to go for the colonoscopy after the age of 50, and the men need to go for the PSC for the posted exam. I cannot stress enough the importance of getting regular checkups. Even if you feel fine, it is important to tell your doctor about anything out of the ordinary, no matter how minor or embarrassing. And if your doctor tells you something is wrong, don't wait or hesitate to get the recommended test or medication. It can mean the difference between life or death. You can still pray and drink your herbal tea, but just listen to your doctor as well. I'm Dr. Will Gibbs, and you just got a dose of good medicine.